Mr. Perry, uh, Eleanor Roosevelt was once quoted as saying to your wife that uh, your husband is a remarkable man. The man lived in a humble little home with a peacock. Oh my lord, most beautiful animals, but I'd like to just barbecue them. <laughs> So, who was Walter Perry? For one weekend every summer, over 30 plus years, Walter Perry transformed his hometown of Windsor, Ontario with the Emancipation Celebration, a three-day midsummer festival in memory of Britain's freeing of the slaves in 1833. Emancipation Day was the biggest black celebration in all of Canada. People would come up from all over, whites, blacks, Hispanics. Irish, Catholic, Protestant, whatever. Walter Perry pulled off the emancipation celebrations because he was a networking genius. You may ask, just how big was emancipation? Walt made it big enough to attract North America's greatest names. He would have people like Martin Luther King Jr. I met him when I was eight years old at the Emancipations, before he was Martin Luther King Jr., if you understand what I'm saying. It was a great celebration, but I didn't really understand then what Emancipation Day celebration was all about, about black people being liberated, being freed. I didn't understand that back then. What I knew was it was one big party that none of us wanted to miss. Paying tribute to Walter Perry, Mary McLeod Bethune reminded the crowd the annual event served to blend ideas together and to help people know one another better so that they might be an inspiration to the people who are yet asleep to the need for brotherhood. Despite the success of the three-day emancipation celebration, Canadians may be less willing to acknowledge the depth of racist attitudes in their own backyard. But Walter Perry wouldn't let a thing like racism stand in his way. He had a show to put on. To this day, no one has been able to pull off what Walter did. Prejudices in many ways didn't apply to Walt. Prejudice in many ways was lessened by Walt. He was the original Mr. Emancipation. <laughs>